Okay, hello, 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 everybody. Lisa Marie here. Uh, time for another scripture, real quick. And today I am talking about the proper perspective on correction. So, for those whom the Lord loves, he corrects, even as a father corrects his son in whom he delights. So, and that's from Proverbs 3, verse 12. Part of the process of spiritual maturity is receiving the correction of the Lord when we need it. Many times over experience with earthly, <laughs> earthly parents or people in authority, it leaves us feeling ashamed, guilty, or inept as a result of correction. People do not always administer correction lovingly or with our best interests at heart, but God does. Often, uh, correction from other human beings is designed to punish us and cause us to fear them so that they can control us. But God's correction is designed to ultimately bless us. According to today's scripture, his correction is a sign of his love, not an indication of his displeasure. Uh, the more we mature spiritually, the more we realize that God's correction is motivated solely by his love and his desire for us to live the best life that we possibly can live. As we grow in him, we understand that he corrects us in order to help us not to hurt us. So when we understand this, we will welcome the correction and, and possibly be eager to make the changes he leads us to make. So let's pray. Father, help me to understand that your correction is intended to help me become the best that I can possibly be and to live the best life that I can possibly live. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, it is almost time for Ask Me Anything today with Robert Hollis. That starts at the top of the hour. If anybody wants to invite to that, it's live on YouTube. Just look up Robert Hollis, and it's also live on Zoom. If you want to come on there and ask him a question in, per in person, face to face. So, and no question is out of bounds with him. You can ask him literally anything. So, all right, that's me today. I'm out of here for now. Have a great rest of your day.